Okay, we're here with Nikki, founder of Aviscanner, uh, a really innovative product for uh, for the best safety on the on the mountain. So, hi Nikki, how how are you? I'm great, thank you. <laughs> Tell us uh, everything about this uh, Aviscanner. Uh, well, I'll start from the beginning. So the Avi Scanner was created uh, by myself and my business partners, the Pratts. Uh, we were backcountry skiing in a class one day, and uh, they're engineer types, and they said, why are we digging snow pits? It takes 30 minutes. We're doing multiple a day for our safety. Um, there's got to be an easier way. And so, flash forward three years, um, we've teamed up with the University of Oklahoma Radar Institute and have created an ultra-wideband radar that picks up the layering in the snow, just like you would on a snow pit. In a millisecond, you can get the entire snow profile, both in the pilot, snow pilot form as well as the high fidelity profile. We use the exact same uh, classifications as you would in a normal snow pit, knife, pencil, one finger, four fingers, and fist. Um, in this scan in particular, the, the snow goes down to 180 centimeters. We have problem areas at 155 and 102 centimeters. So if I saw this scan for myself, I would say, if it's a good powder day, I'm not going to ski anything steep, but I'm still going to go out and have fun. I'm going to ski angles that are low, you know, less than 30 degrees. And how, how correct is the, is the scan? This is extremely accurate. It takes all the human error out of digging a snow pit. So if you and I were skiing together, we'd probably come up with different findings, right? You know, my, my fist, is much stronger than yours. <laughs> yeah, no. So, so it takes that part of the air out of it. Also, we can do multiple scans a day, um, which is important, right? So, the perfect example for me. Tammy and I are going to go skiing. We're going to dig a snow pit at the beginning of the day. We're going to do a scan to calibrate. Okay, this matches, right? I, I trust that this is exactly what I'm going to find, and then I can do multiple, multiple scans a day. You don't have to dig out at all. No, it's a millisecond, it scans. Plus, with the scan, you also get slope angle, temperature. Um, it tracks, tracks your route. On this particular route, we've done three scans, but it also shows you exactly what route you took. If I did this route tomorrow, I would get different scans and different, because of snow variability. So you can track that for days, years, forever. And you can share it with your friends. But you need an application to your smartphone or something like that? Yep, we have smartphone applications, um, but really the software is free to share. So there's no incurring cost or anything with that at this point. Um, our, mar our target market right now is obviously anybody who would dig a snow pit. So backcountry skiers, um, avalanche professionals, um, ski resorts, and those sort of things. So initially we wanted the Abbey Scanner to have everything, temperature gauge, um, altimeter, everything in it. Um, we found that obviously you can't have a temperature gauge that's accurate to ambient te temperature when you have a device on your body, right? You're going to want this handy, pull it out, do a scan, do multiple a day, um, it'll be warm. This device, which will be a little larger, this is just a, a prototype for the show, um, can clip on your backpack or on your coat. You pull it out, it does wind speed, temperature, all of that, easily, fast, accessible. It goes directly to this, there's also an app for your smartphone. So you can use this separately as well, for different activities. But just to make it clear, you, you still uh, need to have a transceiver? Yeah, absolutely. This does not in any way take the, the place of any safety techniques or devices. So beacon, shovel, probe, the proper training, um, airbags, those are all absolutely necessary for skiing in the backcountry or playing in the backcountry, whether you're snowmobiling or, or snowshoeing or anything. This is a totally separate device. Um, it's the only device that, that is proactive, right? All the rest of the devices are reactive. You know, you get buried, you want your, you want your Abbey pack on, you know, you want your probe on, you know, so we definitely, yeah, nothing takes the, takes the place of education. Sounds so interesting. Uh, when can we see see it in stores? Uh, Target is October of this year, so 2020. Um, it's uh, been a lot. It's been a long process, so um, we're super excited. And obviously, I'm passionate. And how long have you been working on this product? Over three years. Yep. What was the hardest uh, part? It's still hard. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Who's the hardest part? Probably just waiting. Everything. Everything, because because we knew we had a good idea, but making it safe and making sure it was accurate and doing what we wanted it to do. What will the price be? The price will be between five and seven hundred dollars. It's it's going to depend on on um, the cost to actually produce. Thank you so much, Nikki. Enjoy.